OK, I've told this a few times and I will try and label this. Right. You block off any vents. So if it's your gas oven, the first thing is turn off the oven at the switch or at the tap. If you've got a gas oven, go in, have a look with a torch and any vent where air comes in or goes out. So in gas, it will be the burners at the front and there'll be an air vent at the back or there usually is. Block those up, fold up a plastic bag and put something on them so that air can't come in and out of the oven. My fan oven, I fold a bin liner into four, put it over the fan entrance and use the shelves to hold it in place. You want a sealed unit with no air coming in and out. You also want to make sure that it's not actively greasy. So just wash everything in hot water if it feels greasy. What you're doing is you're leaving the oven in the fumes of the ammonia for at least 24, maybe 36 hours. Once you've done that, you get a bottle of household ammonia. It's really, really cheap. And pour it into something like a Pyrex jug or a dish and put that in the oven. Close the oven and ignore it for at least 24. Maybe, you know, I would rather do it, for example, at home. I would do that on a Thursday morning before I went to work. And then I would clean the oven on a Friday lunchtime if I got home a bit early. But it needs that. And... After you've done it, now the, uh, the ammonia stinks to high heaven. It's not harmful, but it's really pungent. It'll make your eyes water. So kind of hold your breath. Hold your breath. Take the jug out. Take it outside. Pour the ammonia back into the bottle and put the lid on. Then everything in the thing, all the shelves, everything that's come out, chuck in a sink of hot boy, you know, hot soapy water. And then take your cloth and start wiping all that black stuff that is solid and hard and carbonised will have turned to the consistency of rubber. With a rubbing washing up brush or a nylon scrubber or something, you're not scrubbing it off. You're just getting it to peel off because it is now soft and rubbery. Um, and you can do the inside of your oven first, leave it to dry, and then go to the stuff in your sink and use a washing up brush to poke it all off into the thing. And honestly, it will all fall off and it will leave your oven without a mark on it. It's just slightly miraculous. And because of the fact that it is so miraculous um, and there's no real scrubbing involved, you're just poking and peeling effectively, you, you can return an oven to looking like new and people are like, oh my God, it's like magic.